welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. If you are new, hi, I'm Brooke and welcome to my channel. And yes, if you clicked on this video, you're probably here for the reason of you're doing GCSEs and you're eager to see how everyone else is doing. Let's just say the whole country is under a lot of stress and a lot of breakdown moments. But um, I'm gonna hear, I'm gonna sit down, I'm trying to do this every weekend after GCSEs and tell you guys exactly how I'm feeling after GCSEs and things and how the exams have gone, each of them. This week was a bit boring, so, and I also do daily vlogs, so if you want to check them out, you can do, I will do a little thing up here. So yes, let's have a little chat about how they went. First exam I had was RE on Monday, and it was the ethical side of it more than anything so we had crime and punishment family and relationships social justice and human life kind of vibe <laughs> i don't really know which ones um and it did go okay all of the exam questions were all right and i feel as if none of them were really too difficult and stuff that you would know if you had revised. If you hadn't revised, then you probably would have struggled a little bit um, on some of the main questions, because some of them, they use like main keywords and things like that. But apart from that, it was all good. And I think I've done RE now, and I'm completely and utterly done. Praise the Lord. So the credits, crime and punishment questions were on about why should a criminal go to prison? There was on about homosexuality. Um, in the thing there was on about abortion, all different topics across the whole entire four. Um, I just had enough time. I found that I could have probably done with an extra 10 minutes just to really, really go into detail with enough. However, I think all in all in RE, I might have come out of a six or a seven. I'd be happy with a six or a seven. Uh, if I got lower than that, I'd be quite surprised in myself because I think I've done quite a justifiable amount to be able to get that reach out grade. Um, but yeah, we will have to see. Okay, and then the next exam was Tuesday, which was math. Math was the biggest worry for me. I had my math shoot the night before. I was stressing. I was like, oh my gosh, what do I do? Um, I went into the math exam. The first couple of pages were okay. I managed to do them, I think, decently well. Um, that's not even a word. And then it did get really hard. And now people came out of the exam like talking about it. And I was like, so I don't know how that exam went, personally, I don't even know what kind of grade I would have got if it was just based off that one. <sighs> yeah, it's a hard one, I don't know, I'm hoping, I really, obviously I do not want to not pass maths, but that exam was a weird one, but I think that there was some questions in there that were really difficult, such as like the padlock one was like, a real mind twister there was very like ones that you had to really think about and be in the mindset and I just feel like I was like a little bit thrown off by then um but yeah Wednesday we had physics and I wasn't really prepared for physics as you probably know if you watch my channel a lot I'm not too bothered about sciences so when I came on to do physics I kind of was a bit like oh I know the stuff like but I don't know it well and I I'm kind of just and it actually went decent-ish. So the main six marker was about liquid, solids and gases. Praise hallelujah, because them questions were literally like gold dust. Um, apart from that, all the other questions were quite weird. Like, I don't even know what the questions were about. There was a lot of ones that were a bit like, oh my gosh, like there was very similar questions uh, a bit like chemistry had loads about the same kind of things um but coming out of that exam i felt like i'd done okay for not doing any revision i felt like i'd done the best i could for not doing any revision and then we had english literature on paper two on thursday which is i love english i want to do it for a level i say that this was my last english literature exam before i started to do it for a level um, so I done Blood Brothers and I got a question on how is Mrs. Lyons portrayed as an unhappy and lonely character or you could choose how is money important. I felt like people that would choose Mrs. Lyons would probably have less to talk about but more 
higher standard of work and money there was just so much to talk about and if you knew your stuff and knew how to link it to the grade eight and nine and seven you would fly with that and i chose money um and i spoke about romeo and juliet i spoke about Mar Mar marilyn monroe and how she didn't know her family and it, it all just really linked well together i done about four and a half pages on that blood brothers exam which i was well happy with and then the love poetry was winter swans and I found that that was an okay poem, like, it could have been so much worse. Climbing My Grandfather, Eden Rock, Follower, Walking Away, oh, all them ones I would have literally thought, oh my gosh. So yeah, um, Winter Swans was quite a nice one. There was a lot of imagery and nature and things, and it was to do romantic love. And I was like, this is the one that I wanted. I did not want family, I did not want nature, I didn't want memory, I didn't want any of like that only wanted this one and i had learned sing song for four years lover sonnet 29 and farmer's bride so i was a bit like sing song sonnet 29 sing song 20, 20 i started writing about sing song then i was actually you know i'm gonna write about sonnet 29 i know it really well and i know the quotes and i know detailed analy analyzation so i done about two pages on when it's one and i done about two pages but i had to rush the end because i was like oh my gosh i'm not gonna have enough time to do unseen poetry so i was literally writing like that I wrote about three different lines of the poem and then when I came out of my exam I actually spoke to my teacher and was like I just compared it to Sonic 29 nobody in my year had compared it to that a lot of people have done um, sing song or love's philosophy or something like that and I came out I was like oh miss no one's done it and she was like it was a really good poem to do it that was definitely the highest state candidate so I was like oh that's all right then like if I've compared it and I'm going to come out with like a good grade because I've done it differently to everyone else, I was quite happy with that. And then the unseen poetry was so funny. It was about Harry in his caravan and <laughs> it was just about a man who loved life. He was living in his caravan, being all like not like not rich and how he like wasn't materialistic. And I was like you go harry son you are popping it today um and yeah so we kind of had that whole entire vibe and then um it was about another like a snowflake which was the second unseen poetry wasn't as good but i done the 24 marker done about two pages for that it was quite a difficult one because i was like rushing for time and i was stressing out and i was like oh my god calm down bro so i done that one and then the unseen eight marker was probably rubbish because i just didn't have enough time i could have done with like an extra 25 minutes on that exam don't feel like it's long enough but yeah and that was the exams i didn't have any on friday so i done a whole day the only thing that i've been struggling this week with was kind of not having study leave really shows um i said this last week in my last recap friday i had three lessons that i didn't have an exam like i did i'd finished my course for p and drama i finished so a lot of it was like a waste i could actually be at home studying so i found that that one was a bit like that hit me um but overall this week has been all right there hasn't been any tears there hasn't been any stress and I'm quite happy with how the, all the exams went. If I could choose my favourite one that went, it would probably be English Literature. And my probably my worst one would probably be like Physics. Because... But altogether, yes, English Literature or probably RE or something like that. Um, but yeah, altogether, the exams were okay this week. Now it's obviously half term, which is... <laughs> we needed it the exams have drained me a lot this week um i came home very tired on friday and i just needed to go to sleep early and i'm feeling that tonight as well i'm feeling the eye bags so happy it's half term i'm going to try and get so much revision done this week and i'm going to really really try and learn the history courses the biology physics and not chemistry physics and biology paper two because I do know that stuff, like I do know it, so going over it will just be like literal revision. The first paper, I literally couldn't remember doing any of that stuff, so that was probably where I gone wrong. And then obviously, English language, a small bit of revision. I've always liked English language, I've always um, know like the structure and things, so that's just like a revision. And obviously, maths, I've been doing so much math recently, and I've actually been quite enjoying doing the revision for that. And then I've got my tutor on Wednesday and things like that. So this week is for revision and just kind of taking a downtime, spending time with people and yeah so thought i'd just round up sorry it's not been it's just kind of a repetitive of my daily vlogs if you do watch them 
there might not be a point with watching these but yeah i just thought i'd do that hope you're all going well let me know how your exams are going and i will speak to you very very soon thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe down below because i'm almost at 1k subscribers so yeah that's fun and yeah i'll see you brand new tomorrow for another vlog see you later bye